Hello everyone. In one of our customer meetings, she asked me a pertinent question. That in this ever-changing uh, online world where things change every six months, what approach should be taken to be able to grow the online business sustainably? Very interesting question. And to that my answer was, if she took care of these three aspects, she would be able to build a sustainable and stable business over the long term. Let's see what they are. Number one, intent. In the online world, a billion searches are happening every day for various reasons. If, for example, you are an online store selling mobile phones, what would be more pertinent search for you? An iPhone history or latest iPhone X model? Which is more relevant for you? The second one, right? Which means understanding the context of what that search is is so important for your business because if I were to optimize for iPhone history which is being searched 10,000 times it's not going to bring me a business it's just going to bring me traffic where people are trying to search about the iPhone history you want people to buy from you right therefore capture the intent of the keywords being typed in and then optimize your online presence for that intent that will always deliver relevant traffic for you and relevant traffic means business number two content now once we establish the intent of the search we must be able to position the content that addresses that specific intent so if in the previous example, latest iPhone X model, right? The content should be positioned to show various uh, versions of the model, the colors, the specifications, and everything that a user wants to do, uh, wants to know when he's making that buying decision. What's more, there should be also things like giving him comparisons, other models, so that he can make an informed decision at that place itself. If he has any queries, he should be able to connect with you as well. So positioning that content is so very important. So you understand the intent, then you position your content to be able to convert that relevant traffic into an engaged one. Number three, engagement and enablement the part of the content was to ensure that you create uh, your content in such a way that the user remains engaged on your website or your online presence so he's asking questions he's talking to you he's looking at videos he's looking at reviews he's able to ask questions it's all engagement and once you've gotten engaged you have to be able to give him the power to make those buying decisions and to be able to simplify his buying experience. So you have an e-commerce facility on your website so you can make a purchase decision. You have a facility where he can uh, request a quote. You can compare models. You can, you can give him offerings of accessories along with his purchases. All that is enablement for the customer to make that buying decision. So if you go through this route, intent, content and engagement with enablement, irrespective of whatever happens in the online world, technology will change, competition will increase, search engines will go up and down. but you are directly targeting the customer. 
If we do that, then there is no harm to your business. Your business will always remain stable, sustainable. Yes, you will have to make those changes. You will have to adapt this changing technology and environments. But the primary focus is the customer. So if you really understand your customer, you will be able to deliver long-term business uh, for your customers and grow your online business. I hope this video was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, please write to us on the email shown on your screen or you can even uh, write to us uh, on the comments and uh, uh, section below. Do not forget to like us on YouTube and Facebook. Until next time. Bye-bye.